Hey everyone, welcome back. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. Um, I'm going to do what is known as a G02, which is a circular interpret interpolation, the tongue twister. Uh, and this is for a Haas CNC lathe. Um, and it probably pertains to other ones too, but um, this is really meant for beginners and uh, how to understand how to write these. And I know like when I started it was confusing, but after a while it, you'll get it. So uh, my previous video was about G03. So if you didn't catch that, go back and watch that. I appreciate that. Um, right in the G02, I'm going to do it with cutter comp and without cutter comp. So what's the difference? Okay. So say we wanted to come up to a dimension of say a half an inch, 0.5. We want to end up at... Oh, I need to write it down. Uh, we'll say X, oh, let me squeeze it in, X 1.0. Hmm, my bad. Say we want to make it a, a 1 8 radius, 0.125. I know it looks, it's not the scale. So, okay, so we're going to come up to X 0.5. We want to come in. To z negative 125 we want to end up here at z negative 250 so that's a 0.125 radius and we're going to end up at 1.0 but it's going to finish the cut at x.750 so how do you write it in cutter comp very simple we did our feed booth facing the part Going past center line, 62 thousandths, x negative 062, explained in previous videos. Uh, we're going to rapid 0.125, that way. Now, we're going to start setting up cutter comp. So I'm going to write, I'm going to feed it to x 0 0.0 at feed rate of 10 thousandths. You know, it's pretty fair. So we're going to turn on G42, which is cutter comp. And I'm going to feed up to x.5. Now I want to go into z negative 125. Feed in. And now I'm going to turn on the g02. So I want to feed up to x.750, z negative 250 with a radius of 125. I'm going to feed up to x1.0 because after you, after you made your, your, uh, your clockwise move, you have to go back into linear moves now. So I'm going to feed up to x 1.0, and then I want to have it go this way, a z negative two point. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing it for demonstration. And as far as the feeds, uh, I'll leave this at ten thousandths. Leave that. Leave that. Maybe I'll slow this down a little bit. Um, I don't know. We'll say feed rate of seven thousandths of revolution. And then we'll feed this back up to ten thousandths here, and then we'll carry that out. And then say the part was an inch and one eighth in diameter, so we'll feed up to x one point two zero, and then we'll wrap it out. We'll go to a dimension of ten inches from center line, spindle center line, and then we'll cancel cutter comp, and that's. Color comp did all the work for you as far as the radius because it automatically knows how much to deduct. So that's it. <clears throat> now, here we go as far as writing it manually. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now, to manually write uh, the G02, without using cutter comp. Well, let's see how crazy this sounds. So now we're gonna come back to X0, Z0. We're gonna come up to X.5. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. So we wanna feed in to Z negative one, two, five. Now with the radius of the cutter, you have to go past that by taking the radius 
and add it to that. So you get Z negative 0.1562. So you come up to X.5, you come in to this dimension. Now, what we have to do here, we have to take our radius value, subtract that, which is the radius of the tooltip, and we come up with 0 0.0938. That becomes our new radius value as far as machining this. So, to write that out, you're going to take your x.5, you're going to take your new radius value, you're going to double that, which becomes 0 0.5. 1876. I'm going to add to this x.5. So now it's x.6876. You're going to keep your z value as far as z negative 0.250. And your r now is 0 0.0938 and feed rate 0 0.07. And we're going to feed up to x1.0. Uh, increase the feed rate to 10 thousandths of revolution and we'll go Z negative 2.0 just you know whatever we're doing and then we'll feed off the part turn off the coolant and then we'll wrap it up X 10.0 which is 10 inches from spindle center line and then we'll just send it home and call it done so I hope that doesn't sound too over the top and, oh god it's too much I know it sounds crazy, but I hope this helps. And you may have to watch it a couple times to get it in your head. So that's that. And uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I'll have more videos coming up down the road. And uh, that's that for now. And uh, okay, we'll see you guys again soon.